Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with the next segment of the Golden Book series. So we have our cover. I chose to cut down my papers. So I have my covers and my papers and I am going to add some cardstock. So some colored cardstock to my to what I'm going to be using. So if you have purchased a kit, you're going to want to pick out six 12 by 12 or pick out a paper pad, okay? Um, but but six 12 by 12 papers that you are going to be that you want to use in your shall we say kit. <laughs> okay, so I like that one. So there's one. Um, one of the things that uh, I was looking at as I went through looking at the kit that we had was we needed um, a little more substance, I thought. So I like the black and white stripe. And I love these little flowers. And let's see about these big flowers. I think, I think this, yeah, I think we can do the big flowers too because that is a peachy color right there. So that gives us one, two, three, four. Another color. These are cool. I'm gonna save those for another kit though, I think. Okay, yellow, we're using yellow. There's yellow in the kit, so let's go ahead and we'll add that. And then I think we'll grab another one of the, the cute little pink flowers. Or, I don't know, sorry. I have this paper pad. This is the same as one of the paper stacks that I had. Okay. Um, I don't know. I want color, not... Okay, we'll go with this one. Okay, so we have six of the <clears throat> the um, cardstock. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and in this video we're gonna go ahead and get some of these pages ready and. So we want to take off the branding strip and you can go ahead and cut that off or take it off. And if you have colored branding strips, I would save them because you can use them like for washi and things like that. Okay, so my paper with the measurements of the book are gone. Okay, so um, so we'll do that again. It's okay. The measurements are the book is just under eight inches, so it's seven and fifteen sixteenths that way. And when the book is this way, we're gonna call it. Six and a quarter. You know what? Maybe we should measure from the inside. What do you think? Like that. So, six and three eighths, which I think is the same number that we came up with <laughs> the other day. Okay. 
So, six and three-eighths and six and three-eighths. Well, what we can do is our 12-inch papers can be 12 inches. You know what? How long is a paper this way? Just out of curiosity. It's longer. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to write this, even though this is not for this. I'm going to write this on here. We are 7 and 15 sixteenths by six and three eighths. So almost six and almost six and a half and almost eight inches. Okay, so we want to be I like to be like a half almost a half an inch shorter than that when on when I do um do my books but we have pages right right here that we can use as our measuring okay and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this just like that and I'm gonna fold it up okay so I'm gonna mark it at the bottom of the book and then I'm gonna fold it up. Okay, so choose one of your pages, one of your card stocks, and you're gonna make a large pocket page, okay, with one of your, okay, and then we'll fold it in together. Okay, so this is something that you can do even if your kit isn't there yet. Um, if you've ordered a kit because you, you know what personality you wanted your book to take. And I started to add fabric and, you know, and, and to add cardstock and other stuff. Well, two things would have happened. We'd have had to go into um, a medium box for shipping and um, you know it's like I might send you fabric that doesn't go with what your actual theme of what you were looking to do with your book would be okay so look at there so our um, our page is actually six inches let's go ahead forgot about that because we did cut them cut it down sorry about that okay so okay so there's our first pocket so we're gonna want two of these pockets so let's go make a pocket and I have I do not have double-sided paper so yes if you have double-sided paper that you like with your um, with your journal, go ahead and with your theme and everything, go ahead and use that. I, I definitely would. Okay, so we can use this as our template. Go ahead, make sure you have the true edge when you're going to fold it. So we're gonna fold this one up. We're gonna fold it up. Okay, so um, I am am adding five more kits to the um, Etsy shop. Uh, neighbor, <laughs> we were talking about um, what I do, and I told them what I was doing this week, and they came over with. Some golden books and gave them to me so I have five more for the for the shop um, right now that's all the the kits I was able to put together because of the stuff and some of them I had to substitute um, something a little bit different okay so there's that 
So now here, um, I'm gonna want to cut this one. Okay, so I don't want a pocket on this one. I want this to just be, be straight. So we're gonna go and let's put this right here at the edge. I've got my my cutter down here and I'm just measuring right to the right to the edge of that and we're going to cut that off okay and of course we will save that and what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and we're going to have one side that comes in a little bit so that it can go closer into the center of the journal. So let me give you a measurement here in case you're following along. Okay, so we're gonna go 3 eighths of an inch inside that, okay? And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna fold this down. So you wanna go ahead and start your fold right at the fold and then Bring it up and make sure that you are straight to the edge and, and then your fold is down here. Okay, so you're straight to the edge and you have your fold down here. And you're gonna do this all twice. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then you see we have this. We're gonna come in and we're gonna have a flap. Okay, because you know we have we need to have some flaps in our journals okay now with this we're going to go ahead and fold this piece and put it in our pile also okay so we have this adorable i love these flowers love this flowered paper okay and again we're gonna go ahead I guess you know what why don't we, we just measure this this is what we need here the up the up and down okay do you remember what that was seven and fifteen sixteenths we're going to go ahead and fold this one in half and put it in the pile. We're going to come over and remember we're doing the same thing that we did here with this one. So the really cool thing is, is this time we can do this. And you can see where if you had like a few of these you were doing, I mean, you could just line them up. and fold a whole bunch of these. Okay, so there's that. Now the really cool thing is, is there's no up and down on this. I don't see any words, because sometimes in the backgrounds of your papers, they'll have words or whatever. So this can go either way in the journal. So we have two more. Okay, we're gonna go ahead Take that off, and this time we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut um, two and a half inches off. Okay, so two and a half inches off, and we'll just really quickly come down here and cut the two and a half inches off of this one. Okay. We're going to save these. Okay, Those are going to be for something else. We're going to take, and you notice we left, I left it on on this one, and I think I want to just leave it on there. Um, I didn't leave it on this one, but that's okay. Um, so, go ahead, and we can use our, we can use our cutter to mark. Okay, so seven and 15 
sixteenths. If you're worried that you're going to mark things incorrectly, it's okay to go ahead and and just use keep using the template. Keep using the template. Meaning bringing that back over and or book pages, whatever it is that you want to do. Because um, it, it's no fun to have um, messed up on your your cutting or your folding. Okay. So there I've now we have a short small pocket. Okay. We have a small pocket. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and fold it this way also. Okay. And this one, we marked it also. Okay, here it's marked over on this side. Now, you see this one? I left the, the strip. And that's actually kind of cool, isn't it? Now, um, when I leave the strip, I'm going to want to to do something to reinforce it because it is, or at least this one is, um, perforated. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and tape it. I'm not going to worry about the hole. And there we go. So this is the beginning of getting my papers ready. And so then we'll go ahead and fold that. So um, this is the cardstock part. We're going to have... Um, six six of these three for each signature okay so then um, we'll do that we'll do that and look at we have two of these one for each signature oh there it is there's my little little paper oh we can even say this okay so um, the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and let's pull out all of our large papers from the kit. Okay, if you don't have a kit and you're wondering what we're going to be using, I'm going to show you the large papers right here. You can find something similar. Um, we have a balloon page from a balloon catalog. Um, I'm actually thinking these might be more fun to use as, um, and everybody's is different, but I think these are going to be more fun to use as ephemera. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. This is your Ben and Jerry's page from the Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I loved the colors. So you got one of those. Okay. So we have, some of you have... The graph paper from um, the ah, what is it? It's from the composition book, okay. And the uh, additional kits, um, I didn't have any more of this. I'm, I, I'm still looking. I've got one more day to find and see if I have any hanging around, but I haven't been able to find any. So you've got two of those, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut them this way first. Um, let's go ahead and cut off that top, the top, um, <laughs> I can't even think of what it is, that top edge, we're going to cut off that The rounded corner is what we're cutting off there, okay? And then this way we're going to go to 7 and 15 sixteenths. Okay, 7 and 15 sixteenths. And cut. 
okay? So that's gonna give us a piece like that that we'll be able to have. And then we're gonna have this. Now, remember with craft paper, I like to be able, because I usually, I'm, I like to use it for planning or drawing things, so I will usually do a flip on this. And so we want um, our kitty template, page template, and we wanna make sure that we're inside when we do our flips, we're inside the, that. And we want it to be kind of a su substantial flip. I mean, the whole reason I didn't um, fold my pages in is it looked like an afterthought to, to turn in like a half of a page. Okay, so I'm just gonna take those and we'll go ahead and fold them all. And then when we get to where we're working with them, that we can fold them back and forth to where we want them. But they're all folded, okay? So there's that, perfect. Okay, so next you have some ledger paper. And this is your large piece of ledger paper. Um, you can use a regular size, we have one of those as well. We're gonna want one on each signature. So two pieces of ledger. You'll see I have this one here and I have this one here, okay? And now I have a thing about, I like my lines to be straight. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut off this top piece. Um, and I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna measure to my seven and 15 sixteenths, and I'm gonna cut this off, and that's gonna give me that piece. So I have from number 34 all the way down to the 40. And again, this is from one of the kits, okay, that I've taken apart. I'm gonna go ahead and come here, and again, I'm gonna come in the about 3 eighths of an inch, Actually, this time I'm gonna fold and leave this line right there. So I'm gonna fold it on. Okay, we'll fold it onto that, that line. Okay, so if I was to list something, I have all this room for listing. Okay, and that's gonna be my fold. Okay, so, um, but there you go. So that's that. That's the short one. We have this piece and we'll have this piece. Now we have this. We need to cut off. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut off some, the top. Okay, so we're gonna look, make sure we have the top, put the top side into the cutter, measure to the seven and 15 sixteenths. So the top is in the cutter. We're measuring to the seven and 15 sixteenths. We'll have that and then we have that. So now this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold this out towards us. Okay. And we'll come over here, we'll, we'll fold this one towards us too. Okay, just make sure it's within the, the kitty page or your, your pages, okay? So like that. So this one came in, folded just at the line. This one came in, I'm folding inside 11 is what I did, okay? So there's that one. Okay, so now we have some children pages. And as you can see, they are so close to being seven and 15, 16, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and trim that down. So it's about a quarter of an inch that we're taking off there. Okay, love these pages. Now, um, five and a half, and five and a half is 11. So where are we on this? We're under 11, so we can just fold those in half. Okay, or if you, yeah, we're just gonna fold these in half. That's gonna give us a different size. <clears throat> K 
Okay. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. If you're new to the channel, we want to welcome you. Please come on over and say hi in the chat so that we can welcome you. Also, um, if you didn't know, we're here every day with a new video at 1030. And um, that's premiere um, also. And we're going to five and a half on this one. I've got two of these here. So these are two more of the children's paper. Okay. Um, and then while we are home, safer at home, we're here every weekday at four o'clock. We are working on our golden book journal. We're going to go ahead and fold this one in half. And we're going to leave it just like that. If we need to cut more off, then we'll do that. Okay, so next we have a couple of lined papers from the composition book. So everybody, say hi to Midnight. Hi, Midnight. Okay, we're going to come down here and cut this one at five and a half. Okay, and then we're going to take the top border and put it through the cutter and cut this one, or these two, at seven and fifteen sixteenths. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, Midnight has a little bit of a sneeze today, you guys. I don't know what she got into. You, you saw the picture. She's She's been into stuff. She likes to, you know, she likes to be outside, and then it gets hot, and she's been under bushes, and <laughs> so... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... We did this one at 7 and 15 sixteenths. We're going to mark this one on our composition paper and come over. And it's going to be a little bit off, but one side will be, be the same as that. Okay, so what do we have left? We have, oh, we have the map and the, the psychedelic page. Okay, so let's see if we're... Okay, so this one's going to be under. So just trim, clean up your edge on your psychedelic page. And I think you can fold that one in half. Yeah, fold that one in half. Do or do not. There is no try. Yoda. Everybody got a different quote. I don't know what they all were. I hope I hope you like your quote. <laughs> okay, and then you got you all got uh, the first kits, the first set of kits all got a map. And these are from these are from a, a book on history. And so Okay, so if I do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and make mine into a, have it have a pocket. Okay, just because I, eh. I mean, should I do it this way with the pocket? Nope, because it's this way. Then all those are upside down. Yeah, we'll do this way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I just want to make sure it's under the size of the kitty pages. And I'm giving it a pocket because I love, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So, um, and there if I fold it this way, it looks like I'll be inside. So, as long as you are inside your pages okay see this is the paint template then um, that that one will be okay 
Okay, your next page is everybody got a a mosaic page some of you yours makes sense and it goes along with your your kit some of them they're just generic and so I need to cut mine I'm gonna cut mine right here um, this one was just because it was pink like the cover of the book that's but like if you had the train then yours had the train that kind of thing okay so you can fold in your whole page you can cut out you know your um, your pictures or whatever you can put it in like this because they're all different so this is kind of a harder harder one but I just thought that these would be fun in here um, I'm gonna cut mine in half and I'll have two small pages and then what I have left is um, everybody got a quilt page of some kind and as you can see mine was a curtain and so um, if I fold it in half I get that if I Okay, so your quilt page you might play with a little bit on how you're going to put it into your journal. I'm going to go ahead. This is what I'm going to do because I, I just want this for color. I will probably cover all this. Okay, and then I have color on this side. So I, I like that. I mean, if you watch the true junk journal books, one of the things that's really cool is these quilt pages in the journal so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold mine up and then you can see they both their picture ends in the same place on both of my books so what that does for me is I can have a small pocket here and this this little thing here I could come in with a page and add a page there um, we'll see, but that gives me just a really cool page. Okay, if you have two quilt pages, you might have one um, that has like a quilt pattern, and that would be really fun to use as well. So, 11 is good, and we're going to cut this. These are my two yellow papers, and that is the last of my large papers. Now, um, I do have the Highlights magazine, and so we will start with that, with tomorrow's video. We will start with the, um, the Highlights magazine. I'm trying to keep the videos all at like a half an hour, or somewhere close to that. I'm probably way over that today. Um, For more bite-sized, bite-sized segments. Okay, so there's my two yellow pages. So let's go over what we have again. We have two solid color. These are copy paper. They're a little bit thicker than just your regular copy paper. But I have two. Um, I, in this case, I have I have my six six cardstock, two yellow, the two signatures of my book. Okay, signatures of my book, my cardstock, my yellow, my yellow, um, I call this daddy paper. This was my, my dad's paper pad. He loved these. You get these at Staples. They are a pretty penny, um, but they are amazing because you can put them in a journal and side by side like that, which is awesome. Okay, so I have my two... Um, composition book pages. I have two of the children's paper with the color lines. I have two of the smaller with the blue lines. 
I have two graph paper that I have gone ahead and given them a flip. I have my large ledger paper and one of the th what you could do with your smaller ledger paper is you could actually connect it here if you want to follow you know truly follow along and you don't have that ledger paper um, if you ordered a kit you do have that ledger paper okay um, then you have this ledger paper okay and this ledger paper then for your other pages, you should have some kind of puzzle or coloring page. Um, coloring books uh, pages are great. Um, a couple of the kits got some coloring pages just because I had coloring pages that went along with their theme. So there's that. I have a colored page from that. I have the quilt page. I have the mosaic page that on mine I went ahead and cut it in half and I have my map. Okay, so there's all different kinds of map pages, but this is the map page that I have. I'm going to put my map page with the ledger ledger papers graph papers. Okay? Okay, so that's what we've got so far, and that's 6 and 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, we had one back here, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that's 35 pages. I still have the Highlights Magazine that we want to go through. And so um, I, I think this is going to be, be really if good. If you have any questions for me, please put them in the chat box in cap, capital letters. And I want to thank you all for joining us for this. This was part two. We went through and... This gave you an idea. If you were watching, you can go ahead and look for papers that are similar and um, go ahead and find yourself a paper pad. The thing about a paper pad, if you can um, find one, is that the papers will all go together. Okay, if you don't have a paper pad, then to start with, you, you might want six of the um, card stocks that you think will go along with your your chosen golden book so when you see this the new kits should be in the Etsy shop that's dear Julie Julie so www.etsy.com slash shop slash dear Julie Julie we are going to be looking at the highlights magazine so every one of the kits got a vintage from the 60s or 70s um, highlights magazine to use in their journal so we're going to take a look at the highlights magazine that came in my kit and see what we can do with it i want to thank you all for being here and i hope you have a wonderful day find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and go watch one of these videos because YouTube really likes it. And it really helps my channel. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.